Some CS2 skins are so hard to get that they don't even exist yet. So in this video I'm going to show you how these skins would look like if they actually existed and what makes them so impossible to find. The first one is the Skeleton Knife Case Harden in Factory New with the 403 pattern. And this pattern is considered one of the best if not the best blue gem pattern for the Skeleton Knife and so you get an idea of how rare this one actually is. There's only 8 in existence that have this pattern, 2 of them are in Battles card, 1 in Well Worn, 4 in Field Tested and 1 in Minimal Wear. So there isn't a single one in Factory New yet. In fact, there's only one Stat Track version of this knife with the 403 pattern, which is a Field Tested one. So a Stat Track in Battles card, Well Worn, Minimal Wear and Factory New do not exist either. But before we go to the next skin, this video was sponsored by Skins Monkey. Skins Monkey is a CSGO trading platform where you can trade your old rusty CSGO skins for some new shiny ones in just a few seconds. The way it works is pretty simple, you select the skins you want to trade and you select the ones you want to get. You click trade and it's done. If you use my code OSNI on the website you get a bonus of up to $5 for absolutely free when you trade on the website and you also get a 35% bonus when buying balance. On top of that they have daily, weekly and monthly giveaways in the freebies page. The link to the website is in the description and thank you Skins Monkey for sponsoring this video. The second skin is the Souvenir R8 Revolver Bone Mask in Factory New, Well Worn and Battle Scarred. And I had no idea how rare this one actually was until I was working on this video and apparently these are so rare because this is actually a sort of a glitch skin. You can get this revolver from the original 2013 packages for Dreamhack but this revolver was originally not in these packages when they were released and it was added later by Valve. So by the time this revolver was added to the packages, there were almost no packages unopened and obviously no one had unboxed one yet because it didn't exist by that time. Just so you understand how rare they are, a field tested one is currently listed for 24k so who knows how much a factory new one would actually be worth. And who knows if we'll actually get one of these in the future because these packages are very expensive and not a lot of people actually open them. The third skin is the Star Trek Factory New Classic Knife Urban Mast and this one is crazy because the lowest float a classic knife Urban Mast can be is 0.06 and if it is 0.07 or more it will be minimal wear. So for a factory new one to exist its pattern has to be from 0.06 to 0.07 float and so far no one was able to actually get one. The next one is the Stat Track factory new AK47 case harden with the 661 pattern. Psych because this one was actually unboxed last week and was mainly the reason to why I had the idea for this video but the fact that this skin now exists is crazy because the chances of someone unboxing one of these are 1 in 21 million. You heard that correctly, 1 in 21 million and someone was able to get it. And this one is so insane that it is rumored to be worth around 1 million dollars. But the next skin is another revolver, this time the revolver Amber Fade in souvenir with Dreamhack 2013 and Katowice 2014 stickers. This is also an interesting one as there are over 400 of these revolvers but there isn't a single one with the Dreamhack 2013 or Katowice. 2014 stickers and the reason is pretty similar to the revolver bone mask this revolver was not in the original dreamhack 2013 or Kato 2014 packages and it was later added by Valve. The problem is there are so few of these packages left and they are so expensive that no one managed to unbox one yet. The chances of getting one are actually worse considering that this skin is a pink in those packages and odds of pulling a pink from these are extremely low. So just like the other revolver we might might never actually get one of these. And for the last one we have Star Trek Minimal Wear Black Pearl Knives for the M9 Bayonet, the Huntsman Knife, the Bowie Knife, the Stiletto Knife and the Ursus Knife. And the reason as to why these don't exist are basically, first of all, there's very few cases where you can actually get the Doppler finishes on these knives. Also Doppler skins are almost always factory new as their float is capped at 0.08. 
So for a minimalware Doppler to be unboxed, it has to be from 0.07 to 0.08 float, which makes minimalware Doppler super rare. Another reason is when you get a Doppler skin, odds of it being a black pearl pattern are very very low, and on top of that odds of it also being stat track are super low as well. So if you add that all up, it makes it to that the chances of getting a stat track minimalware black pearl are 0.0000005% so that explains why these don't exist yet so that was it for the video if you guys enjoyed make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel for daily cs2 videos